And the question goes, given that the function of x is x squared plus 5x plus 9, find the minimum or maximum value of function f. First of all, notice that the coefficient of x squared is positive 1. That means this quadratic function has got a minimum turning point. The minimum or maximum value of a quadratic function can be easily found from the completed square form of the function. But how do we complete the square? To write the function into a completed square form, we use the classic format of a big squared bracket minus a small squared bracket. A positive x is placed on the left side of the big bracket. Halve the value of the coefficient of x, which is 5 divided by 2, and place it on the right side of the big squared bracket. This same value is also placed in the small squared bracket. Now, don't forget to keep the constant at the end. Simplifying the function gives squared of x plus 5 over 2 plus 11 over 4. The minimum value is equivalent to the constant at the back of the completed square form, which is positive 11 over 4, while its corresponding value of x is the negative of the number in the big squared bracket, and that would be negative of 5 over 2. To check if your calculated minimum points coordinates are correct, you can use the all-new Casio Classwiz FX570EX. First, press menu followed by option A which selects equation or function. Then, press 2 to select polynomial. Since we are dealing with a quadratic function, we choose a second degree polynomial, so we press 2. Key in the coefficient of x squared x and the respective constant, pressing equal after keying in every value. Continuous pressing of the equal sign will first reveal the two roots of the quadratic equation, which in this case are imaginary, the roots are not real. Second, the corresponding value of x when y is minimum, which we know to be negative 5 over 2. And finally, the minimum value of y in this quadratic equation which we know to be positive 11 over 4. So this confirms our answer.